Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration, brothers and sisters who join us in worship here at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word in Christ the King, Mission Seminary. Today is Wednesday in the second week of Lent. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Pablito, Pablito Tagora, SVD, Rector of Christ the King Mission Seminary. Our celebration will now begin. Please all rise. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Gathered together as God's greater family, with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, your Son of God and Son of Mary, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the divine word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family, O Lord, called always in good works, and so comfort them with your protection here, as to lead them graciously to gifts on high. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book, the prophet Jeremiah. The people of Judah and the citizens of, Jer of Jerusalem said, Come, let us contrive a plot against Jeremiah. It will not mean the loss of instruction from the priests, nor of counsel from the wise, nor of messages from the prophets. And so, let us destroy him by his own tongue. Let us carefully note his every word. Heed me, O Lord, and listen to what my adversaries say. Must good be repaid with evil, that they should dig a pit to take my life? Remember that I stood before you, to speak in their behalf, to turn away your wrath from them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me, for you are my refuge. In your hands I commend my spirit. 
you will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. I hear the whispers of the crowd that frighten me from every side as they consult together against me, plotting to take my life. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. We all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples side aside by themselves and said to them on the way, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem. And the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death, and hand him over to the Gentiles, and be mocked and scourged and crucified, and he will be raised on the third day. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons and did him homage, wishing to ask him for something. He said to her, what do you wish? She answered him, Command that these two sons of mine sit one at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. Jesus said in reply, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice that I am going to drink? They said to him, We can. He replied, My chalice will indeed drink but to sit at my right and at my left, that is not mine to give, but is for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Tuwing uh, election po dito sa Pilipinas, napakaganda at uh, napakasarap pakinggan ang mga sinasabi at pinapangako ng mga kandidatong nangahangad ihalal ng bayan. Ibubuwis ko ang aking buhay para sa inyo. Ipapakita ko ang pagsisilbing tunay kung marapa, marapatin ninyong ako'y ihalal. Gagawin ko ang lahat upang uunlad ang ating bayan. Laging bukas ang aking tanggapan para sa mga nangangailangan. Pero napakalungkot mga kapatid, sapagkat pagkatapos ng eleksyon, 
at uh, kung sila'y naihalal, tila bagang nakakalimutan nila ang kanilang mga pangako. Karamihan sa kanila ay nasisilaw sa kapangyarihan. Yung mga iba, gahaman sa pera, abala sa pagpapayaman, dapat sila'y pagsisilbihan at igagalang, tinatakot ang madla upang sila ay susunod, mahilig sa publicity. Dapat lahat ang kanilang ginagawa, lalong-lalo na yung pagtulong sa mga may hirap, ay dapat iniulat sa mga pahayagan. Dapat ito ay mga front page story. Sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayong gabi na ating napakinggan, sa lungat sa pahayag ni Kristo, Jesus had a different style or model of leadership. Itong uh, nanay ni Juan at si Santiago, si Chago, mga apostoles ng ating Panginoon si Kristo, inaakala po nila na ang ating Panginoon si Kristo ay walang pagkakaiba sa mga uh, politiko noong kanilang kapanahunan. They thought that Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, inspire the Jewish people to revolt and rebel against the Roman authorities, throw away, depose the Roman authorities, and Jesus, they believe, would establish his own regime. And so the mother of James and John requested Jesus, see to it that when you are already victorious, when you have gained power, and you have established your authority, let my two sons sit at your right and at your left. Pero anong sabi ng Pinesu Kristo, hindi nyo alam ang iyong hinihingi. Because Jesus had a different model, style of leadership. Towards the end of the gospel, he says, Whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. And whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so the Son of Man did not come to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alam nyo, Jesus did not seek attention. He performed miracles. In fact, when He performed the multiplication of the loaves, they wanted to make Him king. Sapagkat sabi ng mga Hudyo, kapag Siya ang at magiging hari, He will not work so hard because He will provide us food, material support. But Jesus would not have anything to do with the plan of the Jews to install him as king. In fact, in the temptation of Jesus, the devil said, your work would be easy. You can save the world. Do spectacular, something spectacular. Jump from the highest point of the temple and let your angels catch you. And people will follow you. Why don't you turn stones into bread? Something spectacular, miraculous, unheard of. But Jesus would not have anything to do with such suggestions. He lived as a poor man, and his heart was for the poor. That's why when he started his public ministry, he read and quoted from the prophet Isaiah and he said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to bring good news to the poor, liberty to captives, sight to the blind, and announce a year of favor from the Lord. And Jesus likened himself 
or gave the image of a good shepherd and he said, I am the good shepherd. I am ready and willing to lay down my life for my sheep. There are robbers and marauders, but they only come and steal and destroy. But I am ready and willing to lay down my life for my sheep. Yes, no greater love than this, than to lay down your life for your friends. And that is exactly what Jesus did on the cross. He led by example. There was no distinction between what he professed in his words and what he did with his life. In fact, when he said, the greatest among you must be the servant of all, he showed it by example. He washed the feet of his disciples. Alam nyo nung kapanahonan ng ating Penso Kristo, the roads were dusty. Kaya kapag pumasok sila sa bahay, yung mga panauhin, madumi, marumi ang kanilang uh, mga paa, maalikabok. And so the lowest slave would be the one to get a basin full of, filled with water. And he would wash the feet of the guests. And that was exactly what Jesus did. He wrapped a towel around his waist. He got a basin of water and washed the feet of his apostles. A concrete example of service. Sabi po nila, meron pong pagkakaiba ng boss at ang tunay na leader. The boss demands, but the leader coaches. The boss relies on authority, but the leader relies on goodwill. The bossy type of leader issues warning and ultimatum. He flounces his power, but a true leader generates enthusiasm and passion. The boss says, I, me, myself is the center of the universe, but the leader says, we, ours. The boss uses people, but the true leader develops people. The boss takes credit and honor, but the leader gives credit and commendation. The boss blames, but the leader accepts blame and responsibility. The boss says, go, he commands, but the leader says, let's go, let's do it. The boss says, my way or the highway, mine is the only way. But the leader says, there is strength in unity and harmony. Yes, a true leader leads by example and is ready and willing to lay down his life. And that is exactly what is required from each and every one of us. We are not called to be martyrs. Only a few is given that singular chance of being martyrs. But we can also serve day to day as fathers, as mothers, as frontliners, as teachers, as professors, as doctors, as government leaders. We can, in many ways, imitate Jesus by our little ways, our little ways of serving other people. I'm impressed with Sister Anno Town, a member of the Sisters of St. Francis Xavier in Myanmar, where there is a struggle going on by the people to fight for freedom and democracy against the military. 
Sister Anne stood in front of the Burmese police last Sunday, the bloodiest day since the Myanmar military coup. Eyewitnesses said that she got on her knees, raised her hands towards heaven, and implored, pleaded to the police, don't shoot, don't kill the innocent. If you want, hit me. The policemen did not shoot and stop their advance. About 100 protesters escaped from the police because of Sister Anne, ready and willing to lay down her life. Yes, that is a mark of true leadership. Mother Teresa once said, we do not need bullets and guns to change society. We only need love and compassion. Yes, love and compassion, service. It is the size and quality of our hearts that matter about how wide or narrow they are, about how mellow or bitter they are, about how forgiving or angry they are, and about how much they can imitate God's love, which goes out warmly and equally to all, to the bad as well as to the good, because that is the call to service, the call to compassion. If we do, then we are genuine, authentic, and real followers of Jesus. Please all rise. Mindful of the words of Jesus, that the greatest is the one who serves, we pray to God our Father for a true spirit of service among all people. To the leaders of the church, may be true servants, acting with the same concern that Christ showed to his followers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that government leaders may exercise their power for the good of the people and avoid discord and distrust. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may realize the success, that success in God's eyes is not measured by the standards of the world, but by the respect we give to our neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are sick may realize that their suffering endured in union with Christ can be turned into great blessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may reap the rewards of their earthly sufferings in eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our frontline healthcare workers, volunteers, and other essential workers, that God may cover them with His mantle of protection, sustain them, and give them strength as they perform their respective duties, and may they have enough medical provisions to use for everyone who needs cure. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, Help us to serve each other by imitating your Son who laid down his life for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed be God forever. Amen. 
Pray that these, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, look with favor on the sacrificial gifts we offer you, and by this holy exchange, undo the bonds of our sins through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to our Lord, the word God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. We have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that are eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and serve you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, all the religious, the clergy, and all your people gathered here. Remember our brothers and sisters, relatives and friends who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints, especially Arnold Jansen, Joseph Renadimets, Blessed Helena of Sefa, Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, John Paul II, Pedro Calongso, and Lorenzo Ruiz, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced with eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. sum up all our needs and petitions into one as we address our common Father. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, especially from coronavirus, as we wait in joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other design of peace. Peace. Oh, no. 
behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you enter should under enter my under my roof, but, but only say, say the, the word, and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. the Archangel pray for us San Roque pray for us San Lorenzo Ruiz pray for us San Pedro Colongsod pray for us Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Frey Nadimets pray, pray for, for us. us announcement we invite everyone to join our stations of the cross or our Via Cruces every Friday at 5 15 in the evening thank you the Lord be with you and with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go to love and serve the Lord and each other. Thanks be to God. the holy train god